What's going on, man? It's your boy Directly here with G, man. I'm locked in with Third Eye Vision, made solid TV. We going up from here. 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 You know, they, you know, I'm, I'm from Griffin, Georgia. You know, everybody call me Fly Street, you know, but Fly for short. You know, I've been, you know, doing the Spalding County, you know, shots out to Spalding County, shots out to Fairmont, shots out to, you know, to the north side, Spalding Heights, shots out, you know, that my side of the neck of the woods over there, that where I'm from, you know. I grew up there, you know, now I'm down here in City Town, you know, kicking it with my partner, you know, Skinny J, High Life. You know, and we, we really trying to put something together, you know, put it in the movement. Let the world know, you know, what we got going on. You know, this new movement, everything new, you know, right now, and we really putting that work in right now. You know, I've been, well, lately, you know, I've been putting out singles and stuff like that, you know, and everything like that. I've been putting out a couple singles. And right now I'm working, you know, did the Backdoor Project. You know, we got something going on, new single, Backdoor. Then I also got another single that, that's out that we're going to get ready to shoot in the video to. She coming right back. And, you know, it's it going to be up on the high life, you know, everything like that. So we're going to run it together like that. And I also got that Street Love Project finna come out. Street Love, you know, right now, that popping right now in the street down there in Griffin. Street Love, everybody. You know, I got the shirts and everything like that going on. Everybody want the shirts. You know, shouts out to Smoke the Dunn. You know, he the one who put the project together, who put the shirt together for me and the logo and stuff like that. And shouts out to Brian Belter, you know, because he helped, he put his foot in it too, you know, to make that thing stand out even more than what it was standing out. So I got that going on. Street Love gonna be more like a, it gonna be an EP, you know, of my emotion. Everything I done been through so far, you know, like from, from my heartbreaks, from my motivation, from, you know, just, it gonna be me, you know, I'm gonna be showing the world me, giving my true feeling. I got an album out, it called Joshua, that I had put out, you know, I put out about like a good, almost, it been about a good couple months, now almost a good year ago. I tell you about it been a year ago since I put it out. It's Joshua, you know, um, it's more like, it's me. You know, that that's my real name, so you know, I put that out. I wanted to put it out, just to show the world who Joshua is, you know, different type of music, you know, you got your, you got your pop, you got your you got your rap, you know, you got your street music, you got your club music, just to show the world like I got so many personality, you know, you don't know who you gonna get when it comes to me sometimes. I just when I listen to the beat. You might get, you know, you might get that don't you stop it, keep on dancing. You might get that or you might get that fill up a bag and get loaded. The bitches can't help but to notice. I'm a nigga they solid and rolling. You know, you might get something like that. I mean, you just that more of that Joshua project more of my personality showing that okay this motherfucker he different you know I got so many so much shit bottled up in me that I'm just trying to show the world you know what inspired me to do music was you know I grew, I grew up around music my dad was a DJ you know he was a DJ down there in Griffin he DJ all around the club old school DJ you know and I watched my daddy I watched him do a whole lot of DJ and then my auntie she played guitar piano. And then one of my other aunts, she song. I mean, she sound like um the lady with um what a night with Rick Jane, T Tiana um don't oh, I forgot her name, Tina Marie, Tina Marie, Tina Marie. She signed just like that lady, like no lie. She signed just like that lady, my aunt Mary. You know, and growing up around them, you know, watching them do their thing, playing the guitars, and my dad DJing and stuff like that. You know, and then you know. It was, it was more like it was in me so it more like I was, I was meant to, I was meant to do this I just didn't find I just didn't know what I wanted to do you know I, I just didn't know at the time but then my grandma died so when my grandma died you know I, I made her a promise you know I made her a promise that you know I'm gonna do something with myself she said that I always like then you know one of my favorite artists in the world is Michael Jackson you know I used to try to moonwalk can't dance a lip can't dance can't do none of that shit but I be trying though but when that dum 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 you know when that shit come on you know it just it do something to my soul i feel it in my soul so it like i knew i was meant to do it i just didn't know what it was and then when she passed away i, I picked up the pen and i just started writing and then when i started writing i started trying to find my way in the music or how i want to do things and then 
after that, I had a homeboy named Hood. They called him Hood. You know, they one of my best friends, you know. We grew up together and everything. He had an eight track. The nigga one of them old school eight track that you record on, you know, he had one of those. So he brought that over to my house one day and then that thing you know I heard his song. So I was like, shit, let me see how I sign on this motherfucker. So shit, I tried this some shit, you know, I made up some crazy shit. You know, some A B A B C goddamn type rap. But then he played it back to him. I was like, oh shit, this shit sound good. And you know, we had cassette tape then. We had CD player, we had cassette tape. So I recorded on this, we would put it on there and we'll put it on the cassette tape. So I walk around with a cassette tape listening to it over and over. And then I just said, you know what? Fuck this. Do, do what I want to do. Do what I want to do in my life. I want to do music. I want to rap. I want to sing. I want to rap. I want to write music. I want to do it all. I mean, I just needed the right people in my path. And, you know, and right now, it like, you know, hey, the more how he putting everybody in my right path. You know, I got skinny, you know. I got Skrilla, you know, Skrilla, hey, shots out to Skrilla, you know, Third Eye Vision, you know, guy behind the camera, you know, he, the one who put everything in perspective, getting it to y'all so y'all can see what's going on, you know, because if it went for that, you know, y'all wouldn't be seeing what's going on, so shots out to fam for doing that, you know, and, you know, everybody in my circle right now that I feel like, you know, everything meant to happen, you know, I left for a minute, but now I'm back, you know, and I'm more focused, I'm more focused and I know what I want and did what it is. You know, right now, I'm kind of like Big Brother. I'm kind of like CEO of High Life Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Bro, been doing this for a while. So you just, so I'm just like, shit, hell, you know what I got going on. We might well put this shit together. So, you know what I'm saying? When I when I first met Bro, you know what I'm saying? It was on Rock Street. This nigga hit me up on goddamn. It might be my, MySpace, wasn't it? Yeah, my, MySpace. MySpace. My and I'm like, who the hell is this nigga? And uh, he like, shit, man, I want to meet you. So... Actually, the niggas was standing right around the corner from me. So we, we met up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? At the time, it, he said his name was Grip. I didn't know nothing about no Fly Street, no Jay Stokes, none of this shit. I didn't know the nigga did music. <laughs> but anyway, he came to the studio, you know what I'm saying? And I think the first single that I heard this nigga played to me was called Red Light. And i like, man, this motherfucker hard. You know what I'm saying? We just built a relationship ever since then. And ever since then, hell, we've been rocking. So I was just like, shit, that's somebody I want on my team to keep this shit pushing, keep this shit moving. Because one thing about a little bro right here, man, this nigga consistent and he stay in it. Like, like this, this nigga don't give up. And he motivate me, really, to keep this shit going. And I want, I want to put him in a position where when I was an artist, which I am still is, what, what, I, what I didn't know back then, I can help little bro out. Do it now. So right now it's just like shit. We came together, bro. This shit together. It's high life, street legacy, street kings, and uh, we trying to make some moves out here.